Hi, this is Feynman Education, and today we are back explaining the mole concept for IB chemistry. So the first section in this subtopic is about balancing equations. Um, so there are a few um, conservation laws that we need to follow in order to balance an equation. Um, and the two conservation laws are conservation of mass, which means the number of atoms before and after the reaction must be equal. So this means on both sides of the equation, the number of each atom uh, must be equals in number. And the second conservation law that we need to follow in order to balance equation is the conservation of charge. So that means the charge before and after the reaction must also be equal. So this means if the charge overall on the before reaction side is neutral, um, the charge on the after reaction side must also be neutral. Uh, so this will come in handy a lot if you need to write um, half equation because that's when a lot of the charges start to appear. And a note is that we should balance or try to balance the elements in the order of currents in the equation so that is easier. Um, so we have an example. Uh, so the example is the reaction of lithium with water to create lithium hydroxide with a hydrogen gas. So in here, the first element in the order of occurrence is lithium. Uh, so here we can try to add number two. So two lithium on the left-hand side uh, will need to put a two in the right-hand side as well. And because we have two oxygen, we should also put the two on the left-hand side uh, for the water and also the hydrogen gas is already balanced itself um, okay so then we can move on to the second concept in this uh, subtopic which is the mole concept um, the mole concept talk about the Avogadro constant which is 6.022 times 10 to the power of 23 um, this number means that there is 6.022 times 10 to the power of 23 atoms in one mole. So this number is discovered by a scientist named Avogadro uh, because the number uh, of the atoms in one mole is just too big. Um, so we can't say this number every time we want to describe a mole. So they name it Avogadro constant uh, so that it's just easier to say and um, the number is nice. So a mole in chemistry means the amount of substance which contains um, this amount of atoms. So the note here is that you should be comfortable with calculations of exponents and also expressing number in the standard form because often a lot the uh, result of the equation in the mole concept will come with 10 to the power of something uh, so it will just be uh, easier for you to calculate everything if you're comfortable with expressing things in standard form and the third uh, section in this subtopic is relative and average atomic mass um, so the first definition we have is relative atomic mass why should we put a relative here? Um, relative means compared to something, right? So here, relative atomic mass is the weight mean of all isotopes of one element. And it is relative or compared to one twelfth of the mass of a C12 atom. Um, and there is no unit for this um relative atomic mass because we're comparing to something uh, also the second definition that we need to know in here is molar mass so molar mass different from relative atomic mass is that it doesn't have the relative word in it so we're not comparing it to anything the molar mass is just the mass of a substance per one mole 
and the unit is gram per mole. Uh, so relative doesn't have a unit and molar mass has a unit. Um, okay, so we have an example here for balancing equation. Okay, so the question asked for the sum of all coefficient for the combustion of one mole of propane. Um, so here, if we balance in the order of occurrence, we need to balance the carbon first. So we start off with C3H8 on the left-hand side. Um, so we should try to put 3 on carbon dioxide on the right-hand side first. So that means 3. And we also need to put 1 for C3H8. Um, and now we see that there is 8 hydrogen on the left-hand side. We need to put a 4 on the water for the right-hand side. So here we see that on the right-hand side, there are 10 oxygen in total. So we'll put a 5 on the left-hand side to balance out the number of oxygen. So then sum all of the coefficient, we get 12, and the answer is B.